Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Kidd. I am a business and success coach for the busy mompreneur. I teach moms how to start, run, and scale their online businesses while being present in their kids' lives. If this is your first time here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're coming back, thanks. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I am a one-take wonder. <laughs> I don't fancy edit my photos. I don't have time for all of that. I don't make time for all of that, and I don't outsource that because it's a video. Guys, we're in a fancy society. We don't need all the fancy gadgets, and you don't need to be a fancy person to run a fancy business. You don't have to. In order to get clients, you just have to do a few things, and that's what we're going to talk about today, okay? How to get clients. There is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of information out there right now on how to get clients and a lot of it's just BS okay a lot of it is just BS and I am just insanely confused by some of the tips that are being given so I want to cut to the chase and I want to give you the exact things that you need to do right now in order to get clients stop fooling around and listen this is how you're gonna make money okay these are things that I did before I even had all the fancy websites that you see now that before I had a YouTube channel well, I had a YouTube channel but I didn't do anything with it before I had all kinds of strategy and blah blah blah, blah. these are the things that you have to do I listed them out I am gonna read parts of them because I want to make sure that you get the exact things take notes take notes take notes step one go out and find people Duh. In order to get clients, you actually have to talk to people. This is painful, okay? I am a massive, massive, massive introvert. I don't like talking to people, despite what you might think on my videos, because I am so cheerful. No, I really don't like starting new conversations. I don't like talking to people for long periods of time. On the weekends, I become a hermit. You do not hear from me. Actually, a lot of my friends don't even hear from me. Not because they don't love them. I truly love them. And I have some of the best friends on the planet because we cannot talk for long periods of time and then we'll pick right back up as if nothing ever happened. Those are the kind of friends I love. They warm my introvert heart. That being said, you still have to talk to people if you want to run a successful business. So ditch the excuses get into Facebook groups, get into Twitter chats, get onto Reddit. I hear Reddit's a really cool place. I can't get into Reddit. I will get so sidetracked on things. So might be a thing for you. Get into Twitter chats, blog comments. You can help so many people on blog comments. So many people out there today are putting out blogs and then never checking their comment section. They're not replying back. They're not answering questions. People have questions. You could be the expert. I know it's kind of shady to jump in onto somebody else's blog, but let's just say it's two weeks old and they haven't responded. I'm sorry, if I haven't responded in two weeks, it's free game for somebody else to pick it up. It's probably an oversight on my part because I will, pr I will uh, always reply to people, but reply on blog comments. Freelance job boards, those have tons of questions. Your ideal person might be there. I know we talked previously in a video about finding your ideal client. I will link that below. You need to know who your ideal client is in order for you to get clients. If you don't know who you're working with, you don't know how to get them. So do that. But you have to go out and talk to people. I know, it's painful. No, you can't just run an ad and get clients. No, you can't market that out because you have to be real. You have to be you. There will be a point in time in your business where you can outsource some of this, but on the whole, you gotta talk to people. Number two, create a solution to those people's problems. Okay, the person has a problem, your ideal client has a problem, you got a solution. Ta -da! I can help you by da, 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 da. create a solution and then put that solution on your website. Ta -da! Make that website page super, super clear. This can even just be an opt-in page, okay? An opt-in page with a PDF that's delivered to them automatically. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be easy. Before I had a fancy website, which I built myself, at homeentrepreneur.com, shameless plug for myself, Yes, I did build it by myself. And yes, for you web designers, I know you can tell. <laughs> but it's fine, it works. It converts really, really well. You don't have to be fancy to run a successful business. Ah. Anyway, make it super simple, make it super easy. Give them the facts, tell them the solution, tell them you're gonna give it to them. Ta -da. It is really that simple. But make sure they have a way to connect with you and to get those answers, okay? Create that solution and give it to them. Now, go back to the people that you found in step one 
and keep those conversations going. You can't just find them, have an initial conversation and hope they stick around. No, you must engage with them. You must converse with them. You must continue the conversation. Again, for those introverts, I know. I know this is painful. It physically hurts you after a period of time. So for those of you who are just like me, there are days that you can schedule yourself time to talk. You don't have to do it every day. You really, really, really don't. I do not get on and socialize every single day. Certain days I take calls, so strategy calls. Certain days I take live calls. Some days I just do <gasps> batch videoing. So all of my videos that you see are done relatively in the same day. I just sit here and change my shirts. <gasps> Life hack, I cannot socialize every single day. I can't, I can't, I can't. It hurts me. It physically hurts me. And if that is you, as an introvert, I totally understand. You do not have to socialize every single day. Most days, my Mondays are my antisocial days. I will follow up with clients, but I am in the background doing a lot of my own business works because I'm coming off of a really relaxing Sunday and I don't want to hit it hard with a lot of conversations. I ease into my work. It's a very busy day for me on Mondays because it's blog writing, it's video recording, it's following up with my VA and things like that, but it is not conversating. That being said, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, lots of conversations. That's my schedule. That's what works into my schedule. So find what works into your schedule. If you are an introvert and you're like, this is painful, start with one day, start with one day a week and try to get as many conversations in as you can. Add two days, add three days. There was a point in time where I was doing six. I was in building mode. <laughs> and it might be something that you have to do, but you still have to go back and nurture and be helpful. For love of God, don't be salesy. Don't be pushy. Don't be spammy. Be helpful. Be genuinely concerned about their problem and how you can help them. Okay, number four, don't be afraid to promote yourself. Now, I know I said that you shouldn't be salesy. You shouldn't be salesy, but you need to let everybody know that you are awesome and that you are amazing and that they want to be able to work with you, okay? You have a solution to their problem. Your platforms are a space to share them, okay? So make sure that you are sharing your offers. Otherwise, they have no idea how to work with you and you're not gonna get clients if they have no idea how to work with you. So next, kick butt. Collect testimonials, ask for referrals, that is the easiest thing that you can do. Ask your previous clients for testimonials. Are they all gonna fill them out? No, actually some of my best clients are the ones who never fill out a testimonial. Whatever. I'm also not the type of coach who's gonna hound you down for a referral or a testimonial. I'm just not, you know, I'm, I'm to the point in my business where I'm very self-sufficient, but it is very, very helpful when you ask for referrals and when you ask for testimonials. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It doesn't have to, hey, get on a video and record da 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 and make me look really good. No, just be like, hey, can you give me your honest opinion on what it was like to work with us or work with me or work with my team or, you know, fill in the blank. But get referrals, get people talking, get people sharing your name out there. Hey, do you know somebody who might be really suited for this? I would love a referral if you know anybody. Bam, your name's out there, mama. Five steps, that is it. These are the five real steps to getting consistent clients. Find people, create a solution, give it to them. Go back and talk to those people, promote yourself, and then share how amazing you are. Mind blown how simple it is to get clients. Are there a lot of things that you need to do in between? Yes, please don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not sitting here being like, these are the only things you need to do. No, there's a lot of foundational business stuff that you need to do, okay? You wanna make sure that clients aren't falling through the tracks. Clap. Falling through the cracks. See, one take wonder. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> Guys, this is me, okay? I am not some prim proper put together, whatever. I dried my hair for you today. You're welcome. There's no makeup on my face. This is what you get. If you don't like it, you don't like it, and you can keep on scrolling. But if you're like, hey, I connect with you, stick around, subscribe to the channel. New content comes out every Monday. I wanna make sure that you are running successful, success, blah, successful business. I wanna make sure that you are getting the clients that you deserve, but I also wanna make sure that you are running your business and still paying attention to your kids at the same time without pulling your hair out. Ah! So. Let's chat, let's talk. I'm gonna drop some links for you below. I have free strategy calls for you. So if you wanna build your business, if you wanna have questions, or if you have questions about 
getting clients consistently, let's jump on a call. It's free. Free. I love the word free. If you haven't been, if you haven't noticed, I love giving things away for free. So stick around on my channel for more free tips on how to get consistent clients. Bye guys.